guys, so we're here with another me, and we're going to sing a book. And I'm sleeping on the bed today because I have to So it's called Song and Dance Man. So we're going to read it. It's by, yeah, you know. I want to read it fast because I won't have time. Grandpa was, wait. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the Valley Blue stage. When we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV back in the good old days, the song and dance days. Supper in an hour, Grandma calls from the kitchen. Kitchen. I wonder if my tap stool still fit, Grandpa says with a smile. Then he turns on the light to the attic, and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. Faded posters of Grandpa when he was a young hang on. The walls he moves some cardboard boxes and rack of grandma's winter dresses out of the way and we see a dusty brown leather trim trunk in the corner. Yeah. That's the corner of the trunk. Trunk is right there. And as soon as grandpa opens it, the smell of cinder chips an old thing safe fills the attic inside are his shoes with the silver half moon taps on the shoes and heels, bowler hats, top hats, and wets with stripes and matching bow ties. We try on the hats and pretend dancing on a valid boo stage stage where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head ahead along with the music after whipping his shoes with a cloth he calls a chamois Grandpa puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside the shoes so his corns won't rub. And he turns on the lamps and aims each one down like a spotlight. He sparkles a little powder on the floor and it's showtime. We sit on one of Grandpa's woolen blankets, clap our hands, and call out, Yay, Grandpa! The song and dance man begins to dance. The old soft shoe, his feet move slowly at first, while his tap shoes make soft slippery sounds like rain on a tip roof. We forget that it was its grandpa dancing, and all we can hear is silvery tap of two feet, and all we can see is song and dancemen gliding across a valuable stage. He watched this and does a new step. Hey, hey, he, he says, watch this and does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly his shoes move faster and he begins to sing. His voice is as round as and strong as a canyon echo and his cheeks get rosy as he sings. Yankee Doodle Boy and a song he knows from the good old days. There are too, there are too many steps and too many words in this time song for us to remember. But the show is better than any on TV. The song and dance band stops and leaves word with a wink. What's that in your ear? He acts and he pulls a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. He rolls his um bowler hat down his arm, catches it in his hand and flips it back up to up into his head know how to make an end of faithful he asks one scoop of ice cream two squares of soda and three scoops of elephant we've heard that joke before but the song 
And then Smash slaps his knee and lands to he waters like this. <laughs> okay. He tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest pocket, but the hanky just gets longer and longer. As he pulls it out, he looks so surprised that we start laughing too, and it feels like the whole attic is shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard the hiccups start, and Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says, or I'll have to scare you. Oh my god, this is a lot. And I want to show you at the end what type of book it is. It's for the library in West Oaks Elementary. And please, please don't tell me what it is. Okay. Um, I All right. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets us a gold tip cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk. He lowers his eyes and tips the hat and he's standing very still. All the lights are turned low except one that shines on his polished tap shoes. It's the grand finale. So the song and dance man takes a deep breath. He lifts the cane and holds it on both hands. Slowly he starts to tap his shoes move faster and faster and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with one only two feet okay he spins and jumps into the air touching the stage again he kneels with his arms spread out in silk top hat gold Tip cane lie side by side as side as his feet. His shoes are still. The show is over. Oops, I kind of ripped it. I didn't rip it. It's just okay. You all can read it. It's still soft, maybe. We set up together and clap our hands, shouting hooray and more. But Grandpa only smiles, shakes his head, all of breath, all of red. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the shiny cloth, and puts them back in the leather trunk. He carefully founds his vest and lays the top, hat and cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. Well, let's turn. Wait, like two times. Grandpa holds on the rail as we go down the steps. At the bottom, he hugs us and we tell him we wish he could have see, we could have seen him in the good old days, the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days he spends with us. But as but as. He turns off the attic like Grandpa glanced back up the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that once, that time on the Vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. So let me show you all the pictures. So this is picture one, picture two, picture three. I'm gonna show you guys the pictures so I'm showing you right now. It's four. Five, six, I'm just counting them. So these are all the pictures. So that's all. And this is the back. You kind of want to read the back maybe. Just a while. You need your glasses if you have. So, so bye guys. Subscribe down below. And be loving this book. Actually, it's not a 4.0. It's, um, you can take a test on it. It's a level 3.8. So, yeah. Bye, West Oaks Elementary. Or whatever. I'm moving anyways. Bye.